Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Sanctuary. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, I had done things and stuff. Uh, did beta grinding, and, and as you can see, I swapped around my team a little bit. Instead of using the fiery bug that is Pill Buggy and Hiei, I've uh, changed to a Kagaboto that I've named Frit. And you'll also notice that it is a light element one, which is neat. Uh, it's got supremacy, which whenever an allied ally monster applies a debuff, it adds, it gains two charge stacks, which is neat. In addition, uh, Naughty Lloyd, which is Naughty Lloyd, he's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I've already shown him off. Yeah, fairly certain I have. Anyways, in case not, this monster may apply an additional stack of any debuff. Additional stacks are only half as strong. Which is a little butts, but one of the bigger ones I had gotten back, I say back because, yes, uh, is Wan T the Vasky. Because I did not have a dude that had tackle anymore because I had gotten rid of my Yahweh. And I decided, you know what? Might as well, might as well have something more recent, a little bit strong. That said, I don't know why it's still not working. No clue why that's not working. Hmm. Irksome. But supposedly this might work underwater. Uh, which I just want to quickly... We'll, we'll check it out here. Back of this gut for a second place. Now, here's the thing about Kagamoto. Or, uh, Flit, as I've called him. He's got the superior fly. I mean, it doesn't help us when underwater, which by the way, again, Naughty Lloyd does allow us to swim through these bubbles. Yep. Rare seashells. We have gotten so many rare seashells. I really hope that they sell for a lot of money or something. Am I avoiding talking to the NPC characters? Yes. But at the least two, we shall now see what our tactics are like. With Naughty Lloyd, I am going to use Miracle. It's a level three, so it will cause sorcery and glory. With Blit, I can use Sonic Wave. Which applies a nice, lovely debuffs. Uh, in this case, it's weakness. Sometimes it'll apply different ones, which is a little funky, but hey. Uh, unfortunately, touching these pufferfish-looking mofos actually caused poison. Yay. And then just... Long Slash. Could have sworn that the... Um, that weakness had caused it so as they take more damage, but I am wrong? <sighs> as per the usual. It's fine. But besides that, I also have Voltage and Charge Beam on Naughty Lloyd, which allows us to just straight up do damage. It's glorious. And Air Sickle, just in case anyone has a particularly nasty weakness to wind attacks for Kagamoto. And then Long Slash. I was initially going to get the um, steam bot dude thing that, like the very first boss. Okay, I get it. I'm poisoned. Thank you. I was initially going to get the steam boss dude as a um, as my pushing guy. Ah, smoke bombs. So I can't go through there. Unfortunately, that would require getting rank 5 against him in the whole champions thing. Which, um... Yeah, that's that's a whole setup I need to set up for. Ahoy hoy! What brings you to this remote corner of our sanctuary? Treasure hunt, you say? Well, there's none around here, that much I can tell you. 
They're already here in search of our treasures. Maybe you can help me out with my own search. You see, I'm a fisherman by trade, but my real passion is collecting rare seashells. Oh. I'll give you something special for them, something that can be used by your monsters. But I'm not talking about the shells, which can be encrypted by monsters. These seashells are different, more rare. You can find these rare seashells in hidden, hard-to-reach places all across Horizon Beach. Some might be underwater, but some might also be up on those cliffs. <clears throat> Bring me five, and you've got yourself a deal, all right? How many do I have? No. Seashell. Swear seashell. Those are catalysts. I got three. Reward box level two. Okay. Come on. All right. So there's got to be two more around here somewhere then. Got it. Uh, hey, Dar, don't you want to help your friends? <laughs> That's funny, assuming that those NPCs were my friends. Alright, uh, already collected that. Another Kagemoto. Bronze, alright. Can't jump through the bridge, I guess that makes sense. Gonna check a miracle to do this uh, damn fight. All right, they've been shocked. Excellent. Sonic wave. I want to say that the Kagaboto is actually some sort of creature of legend. It's seen as uh, the only other instance that I can think of off the top of my head of the Kagaboto is. A Pathfinder monster. Yes, Pathfinder as in the R the tabletop RPG. It's like statted out and it's massive. But I've honestly not done much research into it, so you know. I honestly have added it to my team because I think it just kind of looks cool. Like a really pissed off, uh, pterodactyl. Give me loot, give me things and stuff. Hmm. Sarah's getting more and more precarious to climb. Something tells me that these cliffs aren't exactly the safest. Hi. Hmm. It. Silver feather required to evolve certain monsters. Okay. Okay. It's funny too. I don't think any of the monsters I actually want to evolve are ones I can evolve. Okay, I think the Mini Minotaur was one for the longest time. But then I just looked at it and said, you know what? I'm fine with this Mini Minotaur. Sonic Wave. Yeah, my Sonic Wave is better because it applies weakness. Let's see, I could charge beam, but I think I'll just say Miracle again. Sonic Wave, because Sonic Wave is a magical attack. So, you know, the additional damage is oomph. Good. And dead. Hey, a Dark Vero Egg. And you leveled up. When exploring an enemy's weakness with an attack, trigger an additional 50% damage hit. Yeah, I basically have to wait until the sucker gets to level 30 now, because I really haven't delved into Slime Shot, which, meh. Save for the additional things that the Slime Shot has around it. 
I'm kind of neutral to it. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, inflict a wound stack on them. Wait, what's a wound stack? All healing, right. See, magic frog, that'd be neat. I might just save save it for when I never will become level 30. Hi. Oh, it's you again. How curious that we meet again and again over our travels, huh? Here of all places, too. This is the highest point of the Horizon Cliffs. Although the mountains of snowy peaks are much higher, I think they can't compete with the view you get here. By the way, those bird-like monsters around here are very good flyers. They can fly much higher than other flying monsters. Personally, I prefer to use my own strength to climb these mountains, though. Anyways, I found something that new that might be useful to you. Hey, another switchstone. Switchstone can be used. Yes, I know. Don't worry, I don't need it. I don't even have any shifted monsters yet. All right, hope to see you again soon. Okay. You know, thinking about it, they there's really no point in not shifting your monsters. Hello, skill potion. Because it only makes your monsters stronger. Whether or not they are dark or light. And I don't think that there's any particular change in their temperament. I don't think that there is one. Whatsoever. Yeah. Certainly none in the way that they learn stuff or anything. Let's see. Can't go that way. Uh, I, I could continue helping the dudes that are under the water. <clears throat> I kind of don't want to, though. Already collected that. I got three rare seashells. I need two more. Question is, where the hell do they go? I think this one was just a... Yeah. We're good here. Ah, uh, man, they're gonna make me help those idiots, aren't they? Got a feeling they're gonna make me help those idiots. Okay, I do have a path of, up here I hadn't gone through yet. Continue fight stuff, though. Because leveling up is good. And now that I've gotten more of uh gotten gotten obtained possessed more of a hang of how the hell this uh, current level of systems work. Where everything needs to be buffs, debuffs, damage, and all that fun stuff. I'm actually getting the hang of it, and it's actually fun again. Yeah. You know, I'm at least until I find myself another Absolutely ridiculous boss. Uh, we will. Voltage. We will Sonic Wave. God damn, that's a lot of poison effects. Mmm, man. Buttercup being able to heal herself and deal and get a really bitchin' shield really fast is just so good. Yeah. Pray ups. Oh, alright. Little bit of miracle. Little bit of sonic wave. I know that Sonic Wave is actually going to be really good against those crabs, if only because I don't want them to do any damage. Ghost. I was kind of thinking about getting one of these crabs as a monster that I could use. Which I suppose if they do better than, say... Does that do that? Okay. 
If they do better than, say, the Mini Minotaur. That might be good. That said, I did pick up a Mini Minotaur egg. That's uh, been light touched. Light shifted. Verted Gib. Oh god, why am I yawning? I'm not even all that tired. Ow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I get it. If I run into one of these birds. Yeah, perfect. Haha. <laughs> Don't know if that's how it's actually meant to go, but hey. It worked. And then the long flash. Ooh, power. If anything, though, there is a pseudo sort of need to just increase my car my uh, party's uh, physically capable probabilities. I I don't know what the hell that sentence says. Physical capabilities. But then again, the Kagamoto is not exactly strong when it comes to physical in the first place. And a Vero egg. Dark shifted one at that. Like, seriously. Uh, oh no, I'm thinking of the Naughty Lloyd. Never mind. Crit ring plus four. Oh my lord. A whole one more percent chance of critically. Uh, I guess I gotta go down and. Help the morons. I gotta continue the plot. I guess that's fine. Pretty strong now, it's just... I worry that there's gonna be yet another boss fight that's just absolutely going to floor me. Worst case, I might just want to fight more dudes. Haha. <laughs> Putting off fighting the big nasty monsters by fighting the piddly ones. Nailed it. I forget what it is that shock does. When attacking the shock monster, deal an additional 50% damage. Okay. That's why shock is really good. It's shock. Not weakness, that I really want to put on some more monsters. Unfortunately, I don't know if Kagamoto really has any options where it's shocking. Naughty Lloyd, yes. Yes. Injuries. Oh, how the hell did that miss? That almost never misses. Heck you! Then we'll do a Sonic Assault. Which is like the other Sonic Wave thing, except it's a singular target. I've learned my lesson. Oh, level 29. So close. So close. I don't want to bother with those guys. Probably don't. I already got a seahorse. Don't even remember what it does. Alright. Okay. This place is sp suspicious, isn't it? That matches the clue, doesn't it? Takes three to enter the Maw of the Beast, wasn't it something like that? I already tried those switches on the ground, though. Nothing seemed to work. Putting rocks in them definitely doesn't help. I guess the clue is meant to say that we need three people? Maybe there's something... 
else, somebody else around here who can help us. I saw Leonard a bit earlier around here. He was in the caves just above us. Maybe you can help find him and convince him to work with us. I know that can be tough since he's always so full of himself. Maybe beating him in the old-fashioned keeper duel will do the trick. Okay, but hear me out. You just have to stand on one of the other ones, lady. We don't need the idiot. Uh, so yeah, I gotta make it so as I require the idiot. I suppose in some way Leonard is a little bit likable in his own stupid fashion. Not by me. I don't know what a tanuki was doing down here. But now it shall perish. Ah, they're strong Tanuki, though. Yes. Ah, uh, just that little bit of... Oh, a blind attack. The one thing that might actually cause me to have problems. Anyways, here's a sonic wave. Followed rapidly by murder! Well, you're gonna still bleed to death, so... Yeah. Ooh, level 29 to nuke. Ah, uh, God. I really didn't want to have to help this guy yet. Okay. And there we go. I'm still more interested in the three seashells. Or five seashells that I need to find. I swear I, I, swore I pressed jump. Oh yeah, I forget exactly how much sorcery helps. Magic skills deal 20% more damage. Oh, oh, Sonic Wave. May not seem like a lot, but... I think putting on that weakness is fantastic. It's just so as they can't do as much damage. <laughs> Wow, you jerks. And Sonic Wave. I don't know what it is. I'm just digging the Kakamoto a lot. Ooh, a Yukon egg. Was it this way? To help the moron. We have the monster capable of improved flying. Let's save them. Can't believe it. I was actually saved by you. Didn't you get your first monsters just recently? I think he was trying to say thank you. Hmm. I wouldn't go that far. If it wasn't you, maybe somebody else would have come along eventually. Or maybe you would have rotten it died. Anyways, I guess I owe you something now. Julia thinks she can has found the entrance to the treasure cave. It's the underwater area below us. She thinks it takes three people to open that. You can help us with that. Of course, let's go find that treasure. Alright, seems like we're getting closer to the treasure. I'll take though. I think they really should have made it so as your bird companion. You know. This one would have made it so as you can actually, I don't know, progressed as opposed to going, oh, I forgot a thing. I don't know. That's a personal thing idea that I had. It's like making it so as each of the character or 
uh, the separate options would have been able to make it so as you can progress certain directions without having to get other additional monsters. I think that'd have been neat. Would have been a little bit more coolness to it as opposed to going, okay, you gotta go get that thing. I'm like, oh. But what about you, bird? Can you not fly? I can, but not as well as that creature can. Like, all right. There we go. Hate those old spike areas. Fiery passion. Also, I love how we can all talk underwater. This must be the entrance to the treasure cave. I'm sure of it. I just don't get how we are supposed to open it. I'm pretty sure the switches on the ground are the key to it. Or more accurately, we are the key. It takes three to enter the Maw of the Beast, remember? Well, let's just try to stand on those ground switches and see what happens. Alright, let's try. Unbelievable. We must be the first people to, in centuries to enter this cave. Let's see what's inside. After me. Hey, wait a minute. We deserve to get some of those treasures too. Ah, uh, you're insufferable, Leonard. Also a reminder, we're still breathing underwater. Eh. I just don't want to deal with the buffer fish ones now. Treasure. Rare sea shell. Rare sea shell. Memorial ring. A spectral ring with some words inscribed on it. There are some interesting looking old books here. One of them seems to be a diary. The daring, extraordinary, and fancy escapades of Captain Carter. Written here are the true accounts of me, Captain Carter, the legendary pirate who terrorized the old world's oceans with his band of monsters. These accounts were written after I decided to retire from the life of piracy, but the stories of the, my deeds shall live on forever. If you are the first one to read this, you must have found out how to enter my treasure cave. Well done, you have proven to be my equal. However, to get my most valuable treasures, you will have to defeat the Guardian that I have left behind, one of my most loyal monsters, an ageless creature of the deep. That's the end of the introduction. There's a bookmark stuck in one specific page later on in the book. November 10th, 202 AC. Today, when I was enjoying a fine drink at a certain wretched hive of scum and villainy, which shall remain, remain unnamed, I was approached by a strange Greek character. He called himself the Alchemist. What I liked the most... What I like most, though, is that he started the conversation by dropping a heavy pouch of clinking gold coins on the table. He wanted to hire me for a simple smuggling job. Him and a group of other alchemists wanted to get inside the monster sanctuary. Thanks to my ship, which was able to freely cross the barrier between the old world and the monster sanctuary, I was the only, only one fit for the job. Sure, they were all ra rather strange fellows, wearing robes and masks, with names unlike any I've heard in any of the countries of the old world. But on the other hand, they had a lot of gold. Almost as if they were able to craft it themselves. Interesting, isn't it? I realized too late that it was a false gold. All of it turned it brittle after a month or two. They tricked me and I'm not ashamed to admit it. There's another reason why I quit accepting the job though. Their leader in particular, they called him Marduk, gave me the creeps. I never actually talked to him or saw what was under his mask, but I heard the other alchemists whispering about him as if they were afraid of him themselves. I heard that they them say that none of them knew in fact what he looked like. Some say some even said that his figure and his voice would change sometimes, like he could shapeshift or something. I truly dread what might have brought in what I might have brought inside the sanctuary, even if I don't live to see it fully unfold. That's the end of that part. It doesn't seem to be anything else of major relevance. Oh boy. Won't that guy be happy that his grandpappy Ancestor dude was involved in really terrible shit. 
I mean, piracy itself. Okay. But, we're talking like... Ending this alchemist world, or an alchemist world, this monster place world thing. That's pretty sucky. Now I can't help but wonder if I'm going, yeah, that's the plot. I'll reserve the plot for the next episode. I just want to explore. And treasure? Loot? 2,000 gold? Ah. Hmm. Flight! Come to me! Okay, I see what's on the other side there. It's like a King Koo board. Yeah, I don't think that's happening, Flight. Sorry. Well, I suppose I'll go ahead and call an episode here then. When we return, oh, some sort of shenanigans are going to happen over there. And I'm going to hate them. Hate them, I say. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I swear I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.